welcome back to the channel today we got Caltech. this is version two of the p32 so it's a 32 caliber so let's go over it so it's empty clips empty all right so this is this has the clip add on to the side so you can put it on your belt so this is version two you can tell that by this plate uh version one has a screw right here for the firing pin the the ejector looks totally different on version one and there's some other stuff different also but we'll get into that as we go if the gun is empty which i know it's empty if you pull it back it's going to stay open it does not have a slide release like normal guns it doesn't have a button to drop the release the way this works is it has to have the magazine out and you pull back and it locks the other way is if it's open and you're out of bullets if you put another clip in that has bullets in it you can then pull back and it would rack one in but i don't have i don't have one loaded so so let's go inside i'm going to show you how to take this down and how to remove the firing pin for a deep cleaning all right so if you choose to do this it's going to be on your own so if you screw up and break something it's not on me make sure the gun's empty which it is what you're going to want to do we got to get this pin out so pull it if it's locked it's going it's not going to be enough well i guess it is So we're going to want to get that pin out. You can use a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to use this pick. All it is is just spring loaded. I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but it's notched. Once you pull that pin out, let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus. Well, you ought to be able to see the indention. And right here is a spring. So... This will slide forward. Right here. If you take that spring out, this is a double layer spring, so don't let it go flying. But this rod, there's two springs in there. We'll get to the springs. But basically, this plastic, which you can get aftermarket metal, uh, goes right here and is a guide. So this is what is guiding that slide back and forth. There's two springs in there. There's the aftermarket springs. If you choose to mess with any of that, this is pretty dirty. It definitely could be cleaned. So here is generation two right here is a screw a button head it will have loctite on it so when you undo it you need to go counterclockwise clockwise counterclockwise get that get that loctite or whatever glue there is off but right here is the firing pin if i push that in you should see the firing pin right there. There it goes. All right, so the hammer. Here's the hammer. When the when it comes back, that might have been a little bit too fast. Let's slow it down. So when the slide is coming back, that is what cocks it. So this is a double action. The slide would go boom, cock it for the next one, 
and so on. If you notice right here, this is notched out. That is where that screw is sitting. So when I take that screw out, it's spring loaded. And I already worked it loose, but I'm going back and forth to get, get all that off. The little button here. So this is keeping tension on what pulls the shell that grabs the side of the shell to eject it. It's two pieces. And then out comes the back is the firing pin and spring. So here is where that bolt or screw rides back and forth. That's how it works. And that's everything that's inside there. I will put it in my Sonic ultrasonic cleaner over here with some one shot and let it eat some of that carbon out. But just to put it back, you're going to want to just put the spring on the firing pin. Remember, this notch goes towards the hole. I'm going to use something to push that in where I can get my finger on it. There we go. I'm going to spin that so it lines up. I'm going to use my finger, push it in. It would help if I put these in first. So that just falls into that little hole. Nothing fancy. It just falls right in. This only goes one way because if you put it in that way, obviously, that's not the way it goes. And then put the screw back in. You will want to put some Loctite on that screw. And when you tighten it down, you'll feel it bottom out. And there you go. To put this back together, this is the, what some people would call the nail head end. But you're going to want to put this spring and that rod into that hole. A Gen 1, that's like a two-piece design. So that just goes in there like, like so. You, put, you can tell how that slides. But this nail head sits right there in that little slot so again put it in the hole make sure your guide rod sticks out and there you go it just barely sits in there just barely sits in there this pin goes in between here which keeps it locked in so all right, with the hammer, with the hammer pulled, pretend it's already went bang. When you try to slide this on, it won't go. It, it stops you. Take your finger, cock it, and presto. I don't know if it's going to show on camera. It looks like it might. You can see, you can see this little cupped out piece right there all right so i need to pull it back just a hair we're going to take this and put it in at an angle because you got to push that spring down and then push it all the way through there you go 